I'm Nicole Skian. This is my buddy Eli, and today we're going to talk to you about stay. Stay is one of the foundation cues that is really, really important to teach because stay could potentially save your dog's life if, you know, the door opens and they want to bust out into the street, or if you're at a park and they see a squirrel. So it's important that when you teach stay, you start at the very beginning and you work your way gradually up. And it's pretty easy to do. In order to teach stay, you want to start with your dog on a leash, and you want to have about five treats in your hand. Now there are a couple of cues that you can have here. One is going to be stay, which means stay until I tell you to move. The other one's going to be take a break, which is your release cue, which means you're free to get up and move about. Anything that happens between the stay and the take a break cue it shouldn't matter because the dog should be in a stay. So let me show you how we're going to start this. We are going to ask our dog to sit. We're going to tell them to stay. And we're going to give them about five treats. One, two, three, four, five. And tell them to take a break. And that's it. That's the beginning of stay. You can do stay in any position, right? Sit, down, stand, sitting up like this. But we're just easing into it today. So we're going to start with it in a sit. Once again, here. Sit, stay like a tracker cop. One, two, three, four, five. Take a break. Now we'll add some distance and some distraction and we'll ask them to stay for longer and longer periods of time as we keep going with this. But for right now, that is all you need to know about stay. If your dog gets up, simply replace them back where they started, tell them to stay, no treats for that, and start again. We'll see you next week with a little bit more stay.